Okay, so today we're going to talk about the trapezoid rule. And just to give you a little bit of background, let's this, this is the formula that exists. Let me talk about where it comes from. It talks about half the height, which is this calculation, where a and b are the intervals of in integration that, that ends, divided by n is the number of intervals. And so consider what's going on here. I know in the past when I've done the simulation, we would do rectangles, and we would consider what would the area be we could consider this upper bound or this lower bound. But if we come along and we put trapezoids in as well, instead, we end up with probably a better approximation faster. And if I increase my trapezoids, I want to do an infinite amount of trapezoids, and we can get the area. But when we build this area out, what happens here is I have the height times the bases. And there's gonna this base here at 0 0.5 will be used twice, once for the one's for this first or trapezoid and one's for the second trapezoid. But the endpoints are only used once. And that's what we see on this formula here. The endpoints are used once, or all the other values are used twice. And so that's where this formula, where it comes from. But how do we actually use it? What we're gonna do is we're going to, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate delta x, which is gonna be the intervals between between a and b. And I know on this particular problem I want a to be 0 and b to be 1. And so if I'm going to find my delta x, I'm going to go 1 minus 0 divided by 5, because I'm going to do 5 intervals, and this is 0 0.2. And so if I look here, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a trapezoid, a trapezoid, a trapezoid, a trapezoid, and one more trapezoid here is what I'm adding up. All right, and so now I need to find, so I know this is the interval, and so I have all my breaking down here, my different values, and I have to find the function value at each of these. So I can use my formula, which is from my formula booklet, trapezoid rule. So let's go to our calculator and start to use our calculator to find out what these values are. So I've already graphed it, and I'm going to graph a similar scenario, and I'm going to have my delta x is 0 0.2. Well, I'm going to go to my table now. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to go start at 0, and I'm going to go by 0.2s, enter, and then I'm going to go and see what my values are. And so now if I'm going to set up my integral, my approximate area of my integral is going to be equal to 1 half the height is going to be this calculation here, which I know is 0 0.2. That's the height of all these trapezoids, and I know the bases are perpendicular to the height, times, well, y0 is the first value, and the first value here is 0. Sorry, the y value, it's when the x, sorry, it's what's, when my x coordinate is 0, what's the y value? Well, the x coordinate is 0, my y value is 1 plus my last value, when my x value is 1, my y value is 0 0.36788. Plus, and then I go 2 times, well, I want each of these values here. And so if I bring my screen over, I can find them. And so I can see it's going to be 0 0.96, and I'm not going to write all the decimal places, plus 0 0.85, plus 0 0.698. And the last one is going to be the 5 point, plus 0 0.527. And when I multiply and add all this up, I will have an approximation for the actual area. And one thing you notice, like I have five intervals, but there are four terms in here, because if I think about what's happening, I know that there are, it's this two, three, and four. These four values are going in here, and the endpoints are just done by one. And so if I put this all into my calculator, I can find out my area. If I quit here, 
if I now go, uh, let me pull this down a little bit so I can see some of the values better. So putting it all together, I know it's 0 0.5, 5, 0 0.5 times 0.2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0.3, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 2, open parenthesis, 0 0.96079 plus 0.85214 plus 0.69768 plus 0 0.5. Two seven two nine, and that I believe is all the values put in there. And when I hit enter, I get an area that is going to be zero point seven four four three. So three significant significant figures. So zero point seven four four. If I wanted to check to see how this compares to the actual area, well, if I go to my graph. If I calculate the integral 7 from 0 to 1, I can see here that it is fairly accurate, 0. And if I want to find the percent error, the percent error, I'm going to go 0 0.744 minus 0 0.7468, absolute value of that over 0 0.7468 times 100. And so if I find that value out, I'm going to go 0.744 minus 0 0.7468 divided by 0 0.7468. And then I'm going to times it by 100, recognizing so by percent error, recognize that I really want the positive value is 0.375% off. So that's with only five intervals, the area is pretty close to being accurate. And that is how we do the trapezoid rule.